this review is of Aldi's Stone Mill Season Salt. I've only ever seen it at Aldi's. I don't know if it's anywhere else. Um, I've been using this for a few years. It's pretty good. Um, it's got a nice mix and um, I find that when I use this to saute mushrooms and onions and stuff, it really adds a nice flavor to it. Um, there are, there's the blurb and the nutrition facts and ingredients. Sorry about that. And so, it, it, you know, this is obviously, this is a spice, so we can't look at it the same way that we look at other stuff because it's got no fat, no cholesterol, 380 milligrams of sodium, of course, no carbs, um, and no protein. But, you know, it's kind of funny that they, at least they gave you that knowledge even though it was unnecessary. So obviously the, the number one thing that you taste is the salt, but I also caught um, a hint of what seemed like uh, celery, although it doesn't actually list celery in here. Um, but you know, salt, sugar, spices, including paprika and turmeric, onion, gar cornstarch, garlic, silicon dioxide to prevent caking, extractives of paprika and natural flavor. So yeah, it's it's a oh and, and by the way, this is GMO. Um, unfortunately, I'm not sure which parts of it are GMO, <coughs> but something in here is GMO, <coughs> which I would imagine would be the cornstarch at the very least. Hmm, because obviously the salt and sugar, well, the salt isn't going to be GMO because it doesn't come from plants. Could be the paprika. I mean, yeah, I don't know. But it's it's very nice. Um, it's, you know, I don't usually I don't buy a lot of like pre-mixed stuff. I get some every once in a while if I'm curious about what it tastes like. And sometimes I'm, I like it. Some <laughs> most of the time I'm like ah, but this is good. I'll give this uh, an eight and a half. Thanks for watching, and hope you have a great day.